When getting your new Crown 3, adding the juice and uh, priming the coil could not be easier. You just take off the top, fill the juice into the hole, and then put your top cap back on. And then let it sit for 10 minutes. Crown 3 comes with two coils. The first coil is a 0.25 80 to 90 watts. This is recommended. The second coil is a 0.5 and the recommended wattage is 70 to 80. If you want to use the recommended wattage, then please open the airflow fully. If you want to use less airflow, we suggest, we suggest you lower the wattage. Notice the minimum line. When your tank is standing upright, this is the perfect time to add some more juice. Now I'm going to teach you how to replace your glass or clean your tank. First of all, you have to take off your top cap, like so. And then you'll see inside here that there is a screw and you can see on the left hand side there is a lock picture and on the right hand side there is an unlock picture so this means this is reverse threaded take your UL crown key and stick it inside and you want to twist it right not left because it's reverse threaded so then take out the screw and then take off this top cap this top cap is just normal threaded, so you twist it left. Once that's off, you can then simply replace your glass or you can clean it. And before you put the glass back on, you want to make sure that your O-rings are intact. Okay, Make sure your O-rings are nicely sitting down comfortably in their little grooves, including this little yellow one. And then put your o-ring, put your glass back on, put your top cap on, twist it, make it nice and tight, and then take your reverse threaded screw, put that back inside, get your crown key, and like I said, reverse threaded, so it's lefty tighty. Righty Lucy. And there you go. It's done. And then the top cap. Just thread it on clockwise. And that's it. If your tank is stuck on top of your mod and you can't get it off with your fingers, your hand, then you can use the crown key, put it into the airflow hole, and then just twist it off. Do one turn, take out the key, and then just twist off the tank. Easy peasy. To avoid leaking through the airflow holes, we suggest that after about four or five tanks worth of vaping, you should take off the condensation holder and then clean this with some water. Once you've cleaned it with water, dry it out. After that, you can just put it back on. And that's it. Inside your Crown 3 uh, package, you will find a set of O-rings. And now I'm actually going to show you whereabouts these O-rings go. 
So first of all, you have to open up your bag. Make sure you don't break any of the O-rings because they're very important. Take all of the O-rings out. A little bit tricky. So this little yellow one goes here on the top. Then you have these two little red ones. They will go on the top here. You will have three large red O-rings. Now you'll notice that the two outer ones are thicker than the inner one. The thick and the thin one will go onto this piece and I will show you where. So you have the, the thicker one goes on the, on the bottom here and then the thin one goes on the outer side. And the other thick one, you will notice it goes over here on this area. Your larger flat piece also goes on this at the bottom, as you can see here. So that can go there. And then the last piece, big black piece. As you can probably see, it goes inside here. And that's it, folks. When you're not using your tank, get this drip tip cover, the UL drip tip cover, put it on the top of your drip tip and close off the airflow hole. This prevents any dust getting inside of your tank.